Hi, in this lesson of SAP ABAP ALV reports, we will learn how to add color in the ALV report. We will learn how to add color to columns, like the whole column will assign one color. After that, we will learn how to do the row level coloring. Here you can see we have multiple row and based on some criteria, if you want to change the color of particular row, that will learn how to do row coloring. And last, we'll learn how to do a column level coloring, not column field level. Like first is column, second is row, and third is, let's say, based on one condition, the particular field you want to color. Okay, so this all we'll learn in this lesson. So color coding, we have to use color code ID 0 to 7. Here you can see different color shades based on the ID which we are going to use. Along with that, we can also use intensified and inverse optionality that I will explain in the row color. Okay, so while doing color coding, we have to use color code ID, uh, ID 0 to 7. And detail we can see here, like if you use 5, then it will be green color, for 6, red, 3, yellow, like this. So let's log into our report and add the color coding details. So here in our report, before adding the color coding, so what I will do, as for our report, we have created PF status. Okay, and we have called it PF status here, but I will comment this because I will share my code of color codes and in case if you have not created any custom PF status, the system should not give any error. That's why I am commenting here PF status and system will use the standard PF status here. If you have already created the PF status, then no need to comment that. Okay. So first is like column level coloring. So for column level, very simple, go to our field catalog. And in our field catalogs, for example, I want to I want to highlight the PO number with one color. So what I will do here, js underscore fcat hyphen and one field is emphasize. Okay. And here in this emphasize, we have to assign the color code. Like here, we will write C5. Let's say I want to add green color. So C is color property and 5 is the color ID. Okay, and let me add one more color code here. Let's say this time I want to add color code for the material text. So what I will do, js underscore fcat emphasize and this time let's say c3. Okay, so I use two color code 5 and 3. And just execute the report and see the output. See, now I can see two different color. One is for pure number, I assign green color and material text uh, assign this yellow color. And remaining all is gray, this is by default color ID. Okay, so like this way, we can add color, color to columns in a very easy way. The second we will learn is a row level coloring. So to add the row level coloring, we should have an additional field in the internal table. Fine. So here I will add, we can give any field name here. So I am just giving the name here, drawing color. Types. Okay, four character. Fine. So first in internal table, we should have one field to assign the color. Now, in our loop statement, we have to like assign value to that column based on our requirement. So take an example here, like here I have different, uh, what to say, like different PO type in the output. So for NB, document type NB, I will not add any color, but for all other, but for all other, I will assign some color. What I'm trying to see here, see here we have different output type NB, 
FOUB. So NB I will keep as it is. And for noun NB, I will add some row level coloring. Okay. So let's go inside and in this loop, in this loop, what I will do, like if GS underscore list BS, I think BS ART is document type, BS ART not equal to NB. Okay. If it is not equal to NB, then I assign some color. So what I will do here, I will add JS underscore list, JS underscore list and line color. Now here I will explain the four character here. First is C, that is property. And second, let's take this, assign some other color as per the color codes. So we'll go with seven. Okay. We'll go with seven one, last one. And here I will assign seven. And then we have two more columns here. So what I will do, I will assign here first zero zero. Hmm? Let's see the output with zero zero. And here also, this time I will modify the code. Transporting line color. Okay, so based on my this condition, if document type not equal to NB, I'm assigning the color. Okay, execute the report. Oh, the important part I forgot to explain. Not only this, now after adding this line color here, the important part is, is JS underscore layout. So here what we have to do in the JS underscore layout, there is one field, there is one field called info name. So in the JS underscore layout, here one field is there called as info name. Okay, so in this info name, we have to add the fill name which we are using for the coloring purpose. Okay, so here as my fill is line color, so that line color we have to assign in the GS underscore layout info name field. Now again if I execute the report, so this time see the output. So for all the document type where it is not equal to NB, we can see a different color. Okay, so like this we can do the coloring, the row, and now let's see the other two character options. Here as we have two more character here. So first I will make this zero as one. This is for the intensified. Okay, so this will highlight the row. Intensified will get increase. See the difference. The first one is very light, and now we can see the intensified is on, so shade is different. Okay, and this is used for the inverse. See the difference of what is this inverse? Okay, now if I add that also as one. Okay, so I think that will be better display at the field level. Okay, so I generally it should like display the text like the wording in the reverse manner in the, that color. Okay, that I will explain at the field level coloring. So like this to make intensified on or off, you can make use of third position. Hmm? This one that will work at the row level coloring. So in this way, we will learn how to do a row level coloring as well as column level. The next we will learn that is a field level coloring.